Figure while it was so pretty out, we could take a little tour. Since we haven't really taken a tour of where we've been. So, there's a little bit of the house. Um, just going to do a little walk around the property. And point out some of the cool, some of the nice features. <laughs> like... Bottles in the yard. Okay, so there, there's the house and the hot tub, which has been turned off, and the garage, and coming from this side, little path. Here's our Koi pond, which is frozen over for the winter. This was a swimming pool at one point, and now it's a koi pond. And we're really hoping that the little fish are alive under the ice. So, rhododendron. These guys have been amazing me. They like curl like this, really tight when it's like 10 degrees, zero degrees. You come out and they're like this. And then you come in the afternoon and it's 40, and they're just back up. And they're a little bloom in here. It's going to be really pretty. Okay, then you come down. Um, there's a little greenhouse over there. And a little bit of a compost area. A couple benches. And this nice path that has some rose bushes in it and some daylilies in the summer. And garden. We actually just started taking a course. Um, organic home vegetable garden. So this guy is maybe, I don't know, 20 by 20-ish. So we're gonna see what we could do with that. That should be fun. We'll do videos of that. This is um, blueberries and raspberries. And here, very productive. Last year we got here as they were in bloom, like the end of the season, and I picked a bunch off of it. Um, another little pond here, a little reflection area, and uh, it's nice when the pumps are running, this would be flowing more, and this runs all the way down to the river, where we're heading. And then outside of this main area we're walking through, there's in the woods here, there's more paths and more little sitting areas. You see there's one in there. Oh, and there's little cats protecting the area. <laughs> okay. So we come down here and we've got some massive evergreens. Like, I don't know, 80, 100 feet. It's humongous up here. Really big. And then, this little step. Oh boy. Okay. Nice rocking chair. And. Oh man. I think this is the warmest it's been since last year. December. So this is the river. There's some more of this plant that we're gonna find out its right name. If somebody knows it, leave it in the comments. It's probably really common and maybe it's easier to identify in the spring, but has a little bud. 
somewhere, so it won't focus. Okay. And then we can come along this little path here to this platform where I can't wait to be practicing yoga. Today would be a great day for it. Today's a moon day. If that doesn't mean anything to you, then no big deal. Just don't practice today. <laughs> and another mess of evergreen, beautiful trees. And we have what kind of slum lords here. We've got many a birdhouses. We covered them up for the winter. We kicked everybody out and we'll be taking some of these down to repair for the winter. Yep, then you get to see, ooh, there goes the cardinal. So, so I guess some of them are coming home already. We should probably get them uncovered. But anyways, just wanted to give a quick tour of where we are for anybody who is following and wants to see what we've been up to. We haven't been putting up many videos. Um, so we'll try to change that. Our computer was busted. We couldn't, it was, yeah, the computer's so old that the format of video from our iPhones wouldn't transfer to a computer. And we also just got a little bit lazy and didn't want to, I guess, keep up with the videos. So, Oh, there's also a hiking path across the street, across the river. Ooh, there they go. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I don't know what the heck they're going to be about. <laughs> but seems that we lead a pretty unconventional life so and I think it's worth sharing simply for if, if only to keep I don't know family and friends up to date but also to inspire others because I watched a lot of YouTube videos I don't watch them so much anymore but I watched I would say two years ago, two or three years ago, as I became vegan, I was watching tons of videos about veganism and then spread to unconventional lifestyles. And there's just so much inspiration, I think, from seeing, um, just seeing how other people live. And the video format really, I think, allows allows more feeling than like reading an article. For some people, for others, maybe it's reading is fine, but for me, I really enjoyed seeing, like seeing the person, getting to know their personality. Whew. That's a really steep, it's not that steep. <laughs> Cardiovascular system is not what it once was. So, so yeah, trying to get over get over the hurdle and just pump them out and inspire other people to really pursue what makes them happy and fulfilled. And, and if we can be an inspiration for anyone, 16 or 96, <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, even this guy, look at this guy. Okay, this video has gone far too long. I guess it doesn't matter how long it goes. We're not paying rent <laughs> for the storage and people will stop watching whenever they feel like it, so. Oh, I'm gonna go take a picture of our unknown tree, bush, and I'm gonna make a video on what the heck this, this is. So the people who are interested in that can watch and find out. Okay? Peace, everyone. Bye.